Hi there, I'm Alex Berte. Welcome back to Mentor's Compass, an educational video series put together to give you, parents and mentors, practical and conceptual ideas for parenting and mentoring boys. Now today I want to provide an answer to an important question. Why do boys need mentors? All right, so first I want to address the question, which boys need mentors, right? You might be standing there saying, oh, my son doesn't need a mentor. You know, he's a good kid. He got it all figured out. Uh, there was a time when I thought of mentoring as something specific to deeply troubled youth or youth who were at risk and needed lots of support to make sure they didn't succumb to dangerous temptations, you know, waiting for, for them around every corner. Um, now, don't be fooled. That's necessary, but it's actually too narrow a scope for what a mentor is or can be, right, for, for who needs one. It just leaves out a whole lot of boys who could benefit from having somebody older, wiser, more experienced and accomplished uh, to open up new horizons for them, you know, provide them with an outside perspective to give them direction along the way. Now, a mentor is or should be older, wiser, experienced and accomplished, and his job is to provide perspective and direction. Right? Now, here is the truth. This is the reality. All boys can benefit from mentoring, right? Whether they have both parents at home, one or none, uh, whether they have a great relationship with their parents or one that's kind of filled with conflict, uh, whether they're an A student or a C student, all boys need mentors. Okay, so all boys need mentors. All right, now question is, what does a good mentor do? Most importantly, a good mentor supports parents' efforts to teach their son how to live rightly, right? how to be a good man. Now, when we've bought the farm, when we're pushing up daisies, uh, when we've gone from this life and into the next, isn't the most important thing to have what author David Brooks referred to as eulogy virtues? You know, the stuff people will say about us at our funeral, like, he was always there when I needed him. Or, man, I can always count on them. I've, I've never known a more generous person. This as opposed to just resume virtues, such as he reduced turnover and increased profitability by 15% in Q4. Gosh, I'm going to miss him. Mentors also help plant and nurture the seeds for boys to become devoted husbands and fathers, competent professionals, loyal and generous friends. Uh, servant leaders, men of faith who see God as their loving father and are committed to loving him as devoted sons. You know, it's not just about the here and now. It's not just about having fun or getting like good exposure. You know, you've really got to have that long-term vision. I think that's what a mentor helps a boy do. A good mentor knows how to get in the trenches with his mentee, offering support, uh, challenging, uh, raising a boy's self-awareness. That is huge, raising a boy's self-awareness, right? So a mentor can essentially hold up the mirror and say, these are your virtues, these are your vices, this is kind of how I see you. And in turn, it helps the boy get to know himself better, right? So, you know, he might ask questions like, you want to get straight A's? Great, let me see your notebook. Is it neat? Are things dated and titled? Uh, are you reading anything outside of school right now, even if it's just for five minutes a night? You know, it's not a bad habit. You want to play a sport in college? Awesome! Uh, at practice, do you help your coach before and after with the equipment? Uh, do you showboat when you do something well, or do you try to cultivate humility? Right? Do you work on your game, like for real? Not just like, you know, five minutes every now and then, like working on your free throws, but on your own, regularly hardcore and for long periods of time, right? And not just sports, not just school, but spiritual life too, you know? Uh, do you pray? Do you pray for your friends? Do you receive the sacraments regularly? Does your faith translate into action? Right? Do you do your chores at home without being asked and with a smile? A mentor's influence can help a boy expect and demand more from himself, you know, to carry himself with a greater sense of mission and purpose and direction in life. You know, a boy with a mentor is the difference between average and good, between good and great, between a boy who lives for the weekend because that's when he gets electronics time and just gets to hang out, and a boy who's choosing between service, prayer, study, meaningful leisure, family time, hikes, whatever. A boy can be a wonderful human being. You know, trust me, I, I know. I mentor lots of boys here at the Heights and sometimes I feel like a lot of these guys are actually mentoring me. Uh, but nobody's perfect. 
and everyone can be pushed to improve, and everyone should be pushing to improve, of course, without being scrupulous. You know, I can remember one time I was talking with somebody and I was telling them, oh, woe is me. I've got this going on and that. Oh my gosh, you know, I'm just dropping the ball here and there. And, and you know, obviously, you know, person very understanding, very empathetic. And then eventually they're like, self-pity. I was like, self-pity? Oh, it you know, kind of stung a little bit. But again, the mirror. And after taking some time to think about it, I was like, you know what? I am giving into self-pity right now. And as we say around here, self-pity is the death of all virtue, right? So mentor pushes, encourages, go, live better, live more virtuously. You know, it's crazy to think that even with two wonderful, awesome, accomplished parents, couldn't have asked for better parents, perfect parents for me. No matter how many times my dad told me I should be a lawyer, uh, you know, it actually never, I'm not a lawyer, but it didn't dawn on me to go to grad school until I heard it from a psychologist who I was volunteering with at some program a while ago, helping families and kids, and I kind of unofficially adopted this guy as my professional mentor, and at some point he said to me, he was like, you know what, Alex, if this is what you want to do, you should go to grad school, get your master's in social work or marriage and family therapy, and I was like, uh, okay, for some reason, I had never even considered it. Right? Which is crazy to think now, especially now where I work and I'm just surrounded by all these professionals who have a master's, a doctor, and all these things. You know, it just seems so normal, but for some reason, I hadn't even considered it. Right? So a good mentor should open up new horizons for a boy. And it's not just career-wise, you know? It could be spiritually. Like, I think, where would I be right now if I didn't have a spiritual director? Don't even get me started. Right? It's like uh, talking with my spiritual director about cultivating a life of prayer, right? serving others, trusting in God making sure that I don't get too wrapped up in my work and that I make time to play with my kids and go out with my wife, you know, take her somewhere nice, treat her well, do the dishes more than I do, things like that, you know, putting faith into action. All right, okay, so this will sound kind of cheesy, but I'm going to bring an old sales closing line in here. Question isn't, why should a boy have a mentor? The real question is, can you afford not to? The final point I want to end on, and this is probably the most important, save my best for last is that a parent is a boy or a child's primary educator. Right? A mentor is not a substitute for a parent by any stretch of the imagination. A good mentor should share a parent's worldview. He should support a parent's efforts in teaching their son or their daughter certain messages. Right? But a good mentor will continually point out to a boy the virtue in his own parents. Right? He'll say stuff like, you know why your parents are telling you that? It's because they love you. And ultimately, they want you to be happy. And from where I'm sitting, what they're telling you is right. And it's good. And it's going to help you. It may not feel good. Maybe the way they're delivering it is kind of stinging you in a way that you don't like. But trust me that they are telling you this for your own good. So a good mentor will help a boy realize that his parents aren't just not crazy, but that they're awesome people with a lot of virtue. So that's our time for today. Thank you so much for joining us here at Mentors Compass. Here are some things that I would like you to consider over the following week. Number one, whoever your son's mentor is, invite him over to your house, treat him to dinner, take him to the local pub, get to know him, buy him a brewski, or even have a rum and coke with him. Every time I've met with the parents of one of my students in an informal setting where we got to hang out and have a good time, I just couldn't help but feel more connected and closer to their son and see him more for who he really is. A child of God and the son of Bill and June. All right, so at the risk of getting a whole bunch of invitations over the next few weeks, that's one thing I suggest. Now, number two, if your son doesn't have a mentor through your school or through your church, ask yourself, who could play that role in his life? Is it an uncle, a coach, a teacher, or a family friend? Now, regardless of who that person might be, you got to make sure that their worldview and goals align with yours. Otherwise, it doesn't work out so well. This is a very important decision. Now, honestly, the mentor is probably already there. You just need to develop that relationship. So thanks again for joining us here at Mentor's Compass. It's been a delight. I'm Alex Berte. See you next week.